Should e-bike riders be licensed before being allowed to hit the road? If passed, a new state bill would make that the law on top of imposing a minimum age to ride. CBS 8's Richie Allen, Allen talked with parents who have some very strong opinions Absolutely. on this. Absolutely, and this is getting a lot of attention because of the e-bike accident, some of them very tragic we've had recently. Now, the parents we spoke with say it is high time that more regulations be put in place when it comes to operating an electric bike, especially by young teens. Now, this proposed legislation would also forbid anyone under 12 here in California from operating an e-bike, although some San Diegans think even that age limit should be higher. It was convenient for people. Latoya Blakey understands the attraction of e-bikes. They're a less expensive and more flexible form of transportation. But when it comes to kids riding them... That kind of gave me a little cause for concern because the um, majority of them don't even have on the proper helmet or, you know, any kind of gear for it. She is for Assembly Bill 530, which would forbid kids under 12 from riding e-bikes and require a special state-issued license for those who don't already have a driver's license. This would include passing an online written test, as well as taking part in an e-bike safety training program through the DMV and CHP. We want to keep everybody safe, right? Mom Jillian Simjack would like to see the proposed age limit increased. I don't think anybody young, younger than 12, probably even, I mean, younger than 15 or 16 should really be um, riding those e-bikes. It's really dangerous. It's really scary. Honestly, I would like to see the age raised to 18. Sam Lees is also a strong supporter of the move to license e-bike operators. Yeah, I think it'll lead to just safer streets and better practices. I mean, on regular bikes enough, it's so dangerous and kids and, and adults are getting killed all the time. In fact, the National Transportation Safety Board found that between 2017 and 2021, there were 53 deaths from e-bike accidents across the U.S. Last month, a 15-year-old boy was killed on an e-bike in Encinitas. And last year in Carlsbad, a mother died while riding an e-bike with her daughter in a safety seat. Assemblymember Tasha Berner, whose district includes both these cities, is proposing this new legislation requiring a license, which Latoya Blakey believes is simply common sense. I mean, don't they have to get licenses as a fish? <laughs> you know, so I mean, yeah, it should be something like that in place. And while the state legislature is examining this bill now, it would not be voted on by the Assembly and the state Senate until next year, meaning if passed, it would most likely not take effect until 2025. Carlo and Jesse.